Oke. Okay. Hello Moyen. Good evening. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes. Okay now. Okay now. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm all ready. Hey, I will share to you now. Now, sorry, I will share to you now six point three listening. Okay, Nguyen, let us have here okay, okay. listening test. Await me for a minute. Teacher, wait me a minute. Okay, okay. Okay, now teacher. Okay. We'll share. Listen carefully, Nguyen, for 6.3. Okay. Okay, so. 6.3. So you will hear six conversation. Please listen carefully as I play the audio. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay. One. Where is the photograph now? Where's our photograph gone? I put it on the wall next to the window. It didn't look good where you put it above the cupboard. But you can't see it by the window. Shall I put it next to the phone? It'll fall off there. Let's leave it where it is. Okay, then. Now listen again. Where's our photograph gone? I put it on the wall next to the window. It didn't look good where you put it above the cupboard. But you can't see it by the window. Shall I put it next to the phone? It'll fall off there. Let's leave it where it is. OK, then. Two. When can Susie come to dinner? Hello, Susie. It's Diane. I'm just calling to see if you're free for dinner next Saturday, the 9th, or the Saturday after, the 16th. The 9th is fine. We're away from the 16th until the 23rd. So, next weekend then? Yes. That will be lovely. What time... Now listen again. Hello, Susie. It's Diane. I'm just calling to see if you're free for dinner next Saturday, the 9th, or the Saturday after, the 16th. The 9th is fine. We're away from the 16th until the 23rd. So, next weekend then? Yes. That will be lovely. What time... Three. Where did Jane go on holiday? Did you go camping again this year, Jane? Our tent is too old, so we stayed with my Aunt Vera. She lives in an apartment by the beach. I don't like swimming, but we went walking and horse riding a lot. It was great. Doesn't your aunt live in the mountains? She moved last year. Now listen again. Did you go camping again this year, Jane? Our tent is too old, so we stayed with my Aunt Vera. She lives in an apartment by the beach. I don't like swimming, but we went walking and horse riding a lot. It was great. Doesn't your aunt live in the mountains? She moved last year. Four. What has Maria hurt? Are you all right, Maria? What's wrong with your neck? I've just fallen over in the snow. And I've got a terrible pain in my arm, not my neck. Give me your hand and I'll help you up. OK, thanks. Now listen again. 
Now listen again. Are you all right, Maria? What's wrong with your neck? I've just fallen over in the snow and I've got a terrible pain in my arm, not my neck. Give me your hand and I'll help you up. OK. Thanks. Five. What time will Claire meet Jack at the station? What time will you arrive at the station, Jack? I'll come and meet you. Well, Claire, the train leaves London at half past four. So you should be here at quarter to six. That's right. It takes one hour and fifteen minutes. Now listen again. What time will you arrive at the station, Jack? I'll come and meet you. Well, Claire, the train leaves London at half past four. So you should be here at quarter to six. That's right. It takes one hour and fifteen minutes. That is the end of part one. Okay, finished. Okay, okay now, Moyan. Okay. Okay, so where is the photograph now? Okay, Moyan, it's better see. <laughs> Okay, where can Susie come to dinner? Where comes Susie come to dinner? It's letter A. Okay, next one. Where did Jane go on holiday? Letter B. And what has Maria heard? Letter. Okay, very good. And what time will Claire meet Jack at the station? Letter C. Okay, yay, very good. Okay, so this one. Please try to answer. Okay, listen to Diana talking to a friend about the days they can do some process. For question 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to each person. Now look at part two. Okay, here. Part two. Listen to Diana talking to a friend about the days they can do some courses. For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each day. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, Diana. I've just got this information about some new evening courses. On Monday evenings, they've got some guitar classes. I'm busy on Mondays. What can you do on Tuesdays? Well, there's a course to teach you how to make easy meals from different parts of the world. The teacher's Terry Wood. He's in the restaurant business. That sounds good. What about Wednesdays? That class is about the cinema in Italy and France. Oh, I'd like that. Is there a course for you? Something on business, perhaps? Well, on Thursdays, there's one looking at different companies around the world. If you do it, you spend a lot of time on the college computers, which is good. Oh. There's another interesting course on Friday. You learn about the moon and all the different stars. Really? Is there anything on Saturday? Yes. Then you can learn about the lives and work of the world's greatest painters. 
I think the Wednesday course sounds best. Now listen again. Hello, Diana. I've just got this information about some new evening courses. On Monday evenings, they've got some guitar classes. I'm busy on Mondays. What can you do on Tuesdays? Well, there's a course to teach you how to make easy meals from different parts of the world. The teacher's Terry Wood. He's in the restaurant business. That sounds good. What about Wednesdays? That class is about the cinema in Italy and France. Oh, I'd like that. Is there a course for you? Something on business, perhaps? Well, on Thursdays, there's one looking at different companies around the world. If you do it, you spend a lot of time on the college computers, which is good. Oh. There's another interesting course on Friday. You learn about the moon and all the different stars. Really? Is there anything on Saturday? Yes. Then you can learn about the lives and work of the world's greatest painters. I think the Wednesday course sounds best. That is the end of part two. Hey, so again, you listen to Diana talking to a friend about the days they can do some courses. Okay, so these are the days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, so six, we have letter C, Nguyen. Six Nguyen letter C is cooking. Okay, this is cooking. Okay, next one we have Wednesday. Nguyen, what courses? What course on Wednesday? Letter D. Very good. Letter D is film studies. Film studies. Eight. Letter A. Very good. Business study. Great job, Nguyen. Friday. Letter H. Very good, Nguyen. The night sky. And ten. Saturday, it's letter G, history of art. Okay, very good. Hey, great job. Okay, next one. Let us have this. So you can see in New Yen, what you can see in the picture. You tell me. What can you see or what can you say? Say, speak in the What can you say about this? Um, fly a castle. Okay, that is you can see a castle. Okay, so do you think a yeah it's a castle? Who do you think live in the castle? Um, princess, um, princess, and princess, and um, the king, yeah, it is. A king, queen, prince, and princess usually leave the castle. It's a very nice castle. So maybe this is a very big place. Okay, so you will listen or let us listen to the girl asking for information about the coach trip to Edinburgh. So Edinburgh is a place in England. Okay, it's in London. It's very far in my country as well as in Vietnam. Okay, so let us listen about the girls who wants to go to the edit board when. Okay. Now look at part three. Listen to a girl asking for information about a coach trip to Edinburgh. For questions 11 to 15, tick A 
B or C? You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Good morning. Can I book a coach trip to Edinburgh? Yes, there are two every day, morning and afternoon. Tomorrow morning, please. It's my free day. How much is it? It's £9 for adults, 5 for children and 7 for students. That's good. I'm at the university. Here's the money and my student card. Thanks. Here's your ticket. Where can I catch the coach? In Bridge Street or outside the Grand Hotel. Or there's a stop at the library if you want to wait there. Good idea. I'll do that. What time does it leave? It leaves Bridge Street at quarter to nine and gets to you at five to nine. It takes ten minutes going through town. Is there time to see the castle in Edinburgh? Yes, we go there after the cathedral. We don't visit the shops or museums, I'm afraid. Fine. How long is the trip? The journey there and back is about two and a quarter hours, and you spend two hours in Edinburgh. So that's four hours and 15 minutes. You'll be back by lunchtime. Great. Now listen again. Good morning. Can I book a coach trip to Edinburgh? Yes, there are two every day, morning and afternoon. Tomorrow morning, please. It's my free day. How much is it? It's £9 for adults, 5 for children and 7 for students. That's good. I'm at the university. Here's the money and my student card. Thanks. Here's your ticket. Where can I catch the coach? In Bridge Street, or outside the Grand Hotel. Or there's a stop at the library if you want to wait there. Good idea. I'll do that. What time does it leave? It leaves Bridge Street at quarter to nine and gets to you at five to nine. It takes ten minutes going through town. Is there time to see the castle in Edinburgh? Yes, we go there after the cathedral. We don't visit the shops or museums, I'm afraid. Fine. How long is the trip? The journey there and back is about two and a quarter hours, and you spend two hours in Edinburgh. So that's four hours and 15 minutes. You'll be back by lunchtime. Great. That is the end of part three. Okay, go oh, yeah, done now. Oh, yeah. okay. okay now. Okay, so the girl will pay how much, Muyan? You said seven pounds. Okay, very good. The girl will get on the coach where? In outside the library. Okay. And the coach will be at be at the girl's stop at what time? Okay, it is 8.55. And in edit board, the girl will visit what place? It's the very good, the castle and the cathedral. So you can see in the picture, there are castles, okay? The whole trip takes how many hours? Oh, very far. It's Four and one fourth hours very far. And that is 120, 480, oh, 495 minutes. Oh, very far. Okay, so let us move to the next. 
Okay, so here you can see, you will hear the manager of the shop leaving a message okay, for the customer. Okay, so you can see here a mobile phone, right? Muyan, you can see the mobile phone. And you can see here, there are recordings. Please try to listen this one. Now look at part four. You will hear the manager of a shop leaving a message for a customer. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, can I speak to Anna Jones, please? I'm afraid she's out, but you can leave a message with me. I'm her mother. Thanks. This is Bob Watson from the shoe shop Forsters. How do you spell that? It's F-O-R-S-T-E-R-S. -E OK. I've got that. Can you tell her that we now have the boots she wanted in size 38? We only had size 40 when she came into the shop last week. And she'll be pleased to know that they're also in the colour she liked, green, uh, before we only had black ones. That's good news. Yes, and there's even more good news. We're having a sale, so they're £40 cheaper. Now they're £65, which is a good price. They're made of very good leather. Well, she'll be really pleased. Can she come and get them tomorrow at around five o'clock? She'll have to come before two o'clock, I'm afraid, because that's when we shut tomorrow. OK, I'll tell her. Now listen again. Hello, can I speak to Anna Jones, please? I'm afraid she's out, but you can leave a message with me. I'm her mother. Thanks. This is Bob Watson from the shoe shop Forsters. How do you spell that? It's F-O-R-S-T-E-R-S. -E OK, I've got that. Can you tell her that we now have the boots she wanted in size 38? We only had size 40 when she came into the shop last week. And she'll be pleased to know that they're also in the colour she liked, green, uh, before we only had black ones. That's good news. Yes, and there's even more good news. We're having a sale, so they're £40 cheaper. Now they're £65, which is a good price. They're made of very good leather. Well, she'll be really pleased. Can she come and get them tomorrow at around five o'clock? She'll have to come before two o'clock, I'm afraid, because that's when we shut tomorrow. OK, I'll tell her. That is the end of part four. OK. So we have here... OK now? Or one more? It's OK? OK, OK. Okay, so message for Anna from where? From Bob Watson. Name of the shop? It is four stairs. And the boot size is 38. The color? It's color green. And the sale price? 65. Okay. And tomorrow shop closes at what time? Two o'clock. Okay, very good. Four stars. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here. Now in 21 and 25, let us have this. Okay, what you can see. What you can see. Look at the picture. What you can see in this picture? You can see a uh, what? The color in the... Mm. 
I don't know how he say it. There is a color, and what do you think the color is doing? The color is. Okay, the color is. The color is so red, yellow, pink, green. Okay, so there are different colors. You can see the different colors, right? So now, so here, art class for families plays public college. Okay, please look at this one. Okay. Ngoyen, by the way, I will just go to the bathroom, okay? Please answer, okay? Now look at part five. Okay, this lesson. Now look at part five. You will hear a man on the radio giving information about an art class. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Next week is Family Learning Week and there will be special activities at colleges and schools all over town. There is a very interesting art class at Hadley College called Paint With Your Parents. It's on Saturday, October the 9th, and is for anyone with children under the age of 16. It's a two-hour class. It begins at 10.15 in the morning and finishes 
at 1215. The most interesting thing about this class is the special guest, a famous writer called J. P. Hayward. That's H. A. Y. W. A. R. D. She will read from her latest book, Dark Lake. Listening to her will give you ideas to use in your paintings. The class is not expensive. A family ticket costs £8.70. That's for four people. Anyone extra has to pay £3. This class will be very popular, so book early. The number you need to call is 4497 6390. I hope you all enjoy Family Learning Week. Now listen again. Next week is Family Learning Week and there will be special activities at colleges and schools all over town. There is a very interesting art class at Hadley College called Paint With Your Parents. It's on Saturday, October the 9th and is for anyone with children under the age of 16. It's a two-hour class. It begins at 10.15 in the morning and finishes at 12.15. The most interesting thing about this class is the special guest, a famous writer called J. P. Hayward. That's H. A. Y. W. A. R. D. She will read from her latest book, Dark Lake. Listening to her will give you ideas to use in your paintings. The class is not expensive. A family ticket costs £8.70. That's for four people. Anyone extra has to pay £3. This class will be very popular, so book early. The number you need to call is 4497 6390. I hope you all enjoy Family Learning Week. That is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Okay, so how about number 22, Mo Yan? That is the end of the test. Okay, see if I need to write in this. Now look at part five. You will hear a man on the radio giving information about an art class. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Next week is Family Learning Week and there will be special activities at colleges and schools all over town. There is a very interesting art class at Hadley College called Paint With Your Parents. It's on Saturday, October the 9th and is for anyone with children under the age of 16. It's a two-hour class. It begins at 10.15 in the morning and finishes at 12.15. The most interesting thing about this class is the special guest, a famous writer called J. P. Hayward. That's H. A. Y. W. A. R. D. She will read from her latest book, Dark Lake. Listening to her will give you ideas to use in your paintings. The class is not expensive. 
A family ticket costs £8.70. That's for four people. Anyone extra has to pay £3. This class will be very popular, so book early. The number you need to call is 4497 6390. I hope you all enjoy Family Learning Week. Now listen again. Next week is Family Learning Week and there will be special activities at colleges and schools all over town. There is a very interesting art class at Hadley College called Paint With Your Parents. It's on Saturday, October the 9th and is for anyone with children under the age of 16. It's a two-hour class. It begins at 10.15 in the morning and finishes at 12.15. The most interesting thing about this class is the special guest, a famous writer called J.P. Hayward. That's H-A-Y-W-A-R-D. She will read from her latest book, Dark Lake. Listening to her will give you ideas to use in your paintings. The class is not expensive. A family ticket costs £8.70. That's for four people. Anyone extra has to pay £3. This class will be very popular, so book early. The number you need to call is 4497 6390. I hope you all enjoy Family Learning Week. That is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Okay. That is the end of the test. Okay, so we have here Art Plus Family. Okay, 9th October, start time, 10.15. Name of the special guest, Hayward. Price of the family ticket, very good. 449-769-390, very good. Nguyen, please join the Zoom again, okay? Because this will end in a few minutes. Okay, please join again. I will wait you. We still have five minutes. 